Hi, Daniel Hooper here from 1% Property, here with your Wednesday weekly market update on Wednesday, the 29th of April, 2020. So what has been happening in the property market over the last seven days? The first thing to talk about is the subdued activity. We're still seeing, uh, obviously, lower numbers of buyers, lower numbers of sellers. Sales across the state over the last seven days were 564, which is still around that similar level as the week before and around half of what we would normally see in a normal market. Good news is it's not still dropping. We seem to have sort of leveled out and hopefully as we start to reopen, things will pick back up. I've already noticed buyers coming back, a lot more inquiries over the last week than we had the week before. So things are looking good. That brings us on to price, which is still quite positive. We've seen price drops in areas of the country, obviously in the media and things like this, but from what I've seen in the local market, we're not seeing any price drops yet. Everything's holding pretty strong uh, and, and I'm feeling quite positive about it. I, we, we had 11 sales in the Kedron and surrounding suburbs over the last week, which again is quite strong. It's certainly not half or, or, or less of, of, of what we would normally get. So that shows that there's good buyer interest and that there's it's, you know, it's still a very sought after area. We were predicted to have good price growth over the over 2020 in, in the inner north area. So that price growth is probably going to be curtailed and I, I foresee it being fairly flat, but I'm not too worried about a massive price drop. You have to remember that Brisbane property is very, very affordable. When you compare it to say Sydney, uh, our property prices are just above half of what Sydney's are if you look at, at, at the, the whole Brisbane region. And our wages are only 12% lower. So that means affordability wise, we are a very, very affordable uh, city compared to other cities, uh, other major cities in Australia. You've also got to remember that the Brisbane uh, economy and the Brisbane um, system is has a number of pillars that support it. Uh, areas like the Gold Coast and the Sunshine Coast are basically supported entirely by tourism, which means these areas are going to get hit really, really hard with the um, lack of, of international tourism and obviously all the lockdowns and everything. Whereas Brisbane has mining and it has a lot of other industries that underpin the economy, which means hopefully, uh, and I, I don't know, obviously no one knows, but hopefully we will be able to get by while maintaining a fairly robust and fairly strong property market. On that note, if you are a buyer, one of the things I've noticed is that buy, a lot of buyers are sitting back more than sellers. So if you are a buyer and you're looking to buy in Kedron or the surrounding area, please give me a call because I've got three or four fantastic properties uh, and, and it's, it is a really good time to buy because if you wait a month or two months, all the other buyers are going to come back out of the woodwork and there's going to be a lot more competition. It is a great time to buy. So if you're looking to purchase in the Kedron in a north area, please give me a call. Uh, and if you're a homeowner in the same, obviously Kedron and Inner North area, and you want to know uh, what the current value is of your property, you might want to know because you're refinancing, you might want to know because you're selling, you might want to know because you need to change your insurance, or you might just want to know. If you send me a message, get in touch with me, I'll get you across a digital report on your property. I'm not going to uh, call you and pester you. I don't need to do a, a physical in-person inspection. I'll just shoot it across your email and it'll give you a rough idea of what your property's worth in the current market. Finally, I'd like to remind everyone, please don't forget about the Brisbane Inner North Community Hub website, which is brisbaneinnernorthcommunity.com.au. Uh, as this website is flushing out, it's going to have a lot of community information. It's going to have local businesses and restaurants and lots of other community resources and history on Kedron and the surrounding suburbs uh, that, you know, that'll really help local residents and it'll really help local businesses connect with those local residents. So look, that's it this week, short and sweet. If anyone has any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Otherwise, I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and I look forward to talking to you soon.